Hey fourth grade, this week I'm going to be showing you how to make objects using your color wheel. You might be thinking, what does that mean? But let me show you. Have you ever thought how you could find some things in nature or man-made things that could have multiple colors in them? Have you ever thought about this? Let's see what we can create. I'm going to show you a couple examples today and I'd love to see what you can make. Okay, so let's remember that with our color wheel, we are only using six of the main colors for now. We're gonna get into some deeper colors, some of the more intricate ones called the tertiary colors very soon. But we, for now, are just using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet or purple. Okay, so same color. I'm gonna show you today how to make an object, a couple objects, using all these colors. I'm gonna start Today, I'm going to be using markers and colored pencils. Use whatever you have. I'm going to start today by drawing something, and I want to see if you can figure out what I am drawing. Okay? I'm going to start with a black marker, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rather large circle in the middle of my paper. Okay? Next, I'm going to draw a black Another circle. I'm going to color this in a little bit, leaving a little white space. Any ideas what I'm drawing yet? See if you can figure it out. Next, I'm going to turn this shape, adding one point, adding two points. Hopefully, you have it figured out by now. This is an eyeball. Okay, next I'm going to be adding my eyelashes. Okay, there's always eyelashes on the bottom as well. They're usually very small, but the purpose of eyelashes is to keep dirt out of your eyes. If you want to, you could also add an eye brow up top, okay? Color that in a little bit. Now, you may be thinking, how am I gonna take this eye and make the color wheel out of it? Well, let me show you. I'm going to be using the eye ball here, this colored part of my eye, to create the color wheel. Let me show you how it's gonna look. Okay, so I have my six colors in my colored pencils and in my markers. I'm going to be starting with the markers and we're going to be coloring in with the colored pencils. I'm going to start with red. And with this red, I'm going to start drawing some lines going towards the middle of the eye, just like this. I don't want to draw lines like we did last week to create our color wheels because I don't want to see distinct lines in it. I just want to see some deeper shapes like this, okay? Remember our order. Make sure you go in the order so you complete the rainbow. And finally, my purple. Look at this cool colored eye here. Now I'm going to start coloring in with colored pencils. When I color it in, you can leave a couple areas white. Like if I leave some little white reflections in here, that'll make it look really cool. Another thing is I can make it darker on the outsides and make it a little bit lighter on the insides. 
Remember you make it darker by pressing down harder and lighter by not pressing down as much. My red can go over into my orange as well. They can overlap a little bit. Remember when we learned how to blend colors for the Georgia O'Keeffe giant flowers we did? It's kind of the same thing. You can mix the colors together a little bit, okay? Okay, so I'm going to color all of these in, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I am just about finishing up my purple, and you will see my completed rainbow eye. Looks pretty cool, huh? Now, there are many other objects you could also turn into a color wheel. Here are some suggestions. Number one, an umbrella. Number two, a popsicle. Number three, a beach ball. Really, there's many things you can create. So for this week, I would love to see you either complete the I or come up with your own creation on what you could make using a color wheel. So have fun with this, and I hope to see lots of really cool creative ideas.